All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. All right, I'm lawyer. All right, my name is Levi, and I play a little Hebrew. All right, and um, you so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, Seminole Indian descent, um, or Hebrew Israelites. All right, of the scriptures, but you're gonna have other nations. Um, uh, I mean, it's like <laughs> you're gonna have Israelites that are scattered in other nations. All right, so they're all not gonna look like. Uh, the tribe of Judah and Benjamin and Levi, which is the Negroes, uh, Jamaicans and Haitians, you know, everybody's not going to look like the Northern Kingdom, uh, which are the so-called Latinos, Native Americans, Mexicans, so on and so forth. Now, um, I found this video. It was posted like a week ago. And as you see, it says black man, which is probably a Judite or Benjaminite or Levite. All right. Judah, you so-called Negroes here in America, the tribe of Benjamin or the Jamaicans, all right, and the tribe of Levi or the Haitians. And we know that because of certain characteristics about the tribes of Israel that fit um, how the tribe, well, how the tribes act or where they'll be at today, all right, mainly how they, their characteristics, all right, and the spiritual thing. If you don't believe it, fuck you, you know, straight up. Um, cause this is only for the elect, the 144,000 and one third men, women, and children that believe on Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. All right. Now I'm going to play this video. Hopefully I don't get a copyright, but, um, basically, um, the guy that got killed in Walmart, um, it was, it was a call saying that it was a robbery and, um, it wasn't even a, a description of what the guy was really doing, all right? And he had a baseball bat, and he was tased twice, and he was shot, all right? Um, I'm actually, I'm going to play some of this. They shot him when he was already down. They tased him, and then walked closer to him, tased him, and shot him again at the same time. And that killed him instantly. Over 100 Walmart customers were there. They had no idea what was going on. They're then they had no idea what was going on because <laughs> the guy that they shot wasn't doing no robbery. There was no seeming threat, so no one See? knew. They just heard a shot fired and blood, and everyone started running frantically. It was a whole scene. So somebody called and said that he was robbing Walmart with a bat? They just said that there was a robbery in place and that we need See? law enforcement. When then the law enforcement came, they saw no robbery in place, determined that that was in fact false, but did see a guy with a bat. Then law enforcement approached the guy with the bat and asked him to put the bat down. He didn't put it down immediately. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute, Eva. So, they, so they, the, the people that called the, the, uh, the police, they was calling, they was not even calling the police on the guy with the back. No, they were calling saying that there was a robbery in place. That was the initial call to the police on record. It's a robbery in place at Walmart to deploy the police. And then they came and saw that there was absolutely no robbery. All right, so don't want to get no copyright, none of that shit. So uh, I'm just going to jump into some qu uh, quick scriptures. All right. Uh, shit, made me lose my train of thought. Uh, it says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 17, or Salaki is my allergies and shit. Uh, Psalm 17 and 13, rise, arise, O Yahweh. When you see the uh, Lord in all caps is Yahweh, all right? Disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. So cast who down? This is, uh, this is really a prayer uh, from King David. All right, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Who is to him? All right, in, to, in today's terms, who is him? It's Esau, Edom. All right, cast him down, cast him down from his power structure. And that's what the Lord is doing slowly. That's why Babylon the Great, America is in turmoil. All right, deliver my soul from the wicked. All right, who's the Lord? I mean, uh, who's the wicked? Esau Edom. We're going to get a scripture to prove that. 
which is thy sword. So the Lord uses uh, Esau as as a way to um, to punish Jacob. All right, uh, which are you so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and similar any descent? Why? Because uh, uh, we're constantly going off. Uh, they don't want to praise the two thirds. That's what I'm talking about. The ones that don't believe in the Lord. All right. The ones that said, let his blood be upon us and our children. All right. In the book of Matthews. Uh, damn, I was reading it last night. I forgot what, what chapter it was. Oh, I hate that. I was just reading it last night. I think it's uh, Matthew, the sixth chapter. No, let me get that. Oh, shit. So like, yeah. I was just reading that. Okay. Let. There you go. Oh, it's Matthew 20, 27, 25. It's like it. All right. So it said, then answered all the people and said, let his blood be upon us and our children. So that's what you see today. All right. That's why you see Jake killing uh, other Jakes. You know what I'm saying? Black on black crime, so, so to speak. Uh, Hispanic against Hispanic. Uh, uh, Hispanic against black, so to speak. You know, that's our people paying for uh, uh you know saying this you know it's a thing where you have generations and generations you know like the curse and so forth was on us for generations and generations and i'm talking about the, the curse of deuteronomy the 28th chapter as one in slavery and so forth all right um and so yeah you know the lord uses esau as a whooping stick all right to punish jacob all right i keep doing that and um, I'm kind of all over the place because really I wasn't even going to make a video about this. This is going to be a video about um, I was watching Esau um, shoot targets and so forth. You know, I was watching him shoot targets and he was teaching people how to shoot. You know, when you go into the military, when you go into the military, you see nothing but damn near all Edomite instructor, uh, instructors teaching you how to shoot, you know, hunt or, you know military stuff you know um and that was that's esau's blessing it's a sword and that's what i was going to get so let, i'm gonna read this back over arise O you have to disappoint him and cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword so the lord's uh, uh sword is the wicked malachi 1 and 4 whereas edom the so-called white people which you're gonna have israelites that look like edom but their spirit is not going to be of edom and the ones that don't wake up to them being uh, Israelites that look like Edom in the kingdom, they'll be in their right mind. And uh, ultimately, the Lord's going to lift that curse of leprosy off of them. All right. And they're going to look like me. They're going to have, you know, the full Israelite features. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. And that's what they did. Um, going back to the Roman Empire. All right. Uh, th their deadly wound was healed. The Roman Empire had went down and came right back up. They built up America and they built up um, uh, other um, kingdoms or other countries around the world. Edom. I mean, uh, not Edom. Shit. Uh, the British Empire, French, you know, uh, Spain and so forth. All right. Uh, built the desolate places. Just said the Yahweh of hosts of armies. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Yahweh have indignation forever. And that indignation, you can read about that in the book of Obadiah. All right. Um, and you can read about that. Man, you can read about that all throughout the scriptures where the Lord is going to uh, basically get rid of Esau, Edom. All right. They won't they won't feel. Uh, was it? They won't feel the faces. They won't feel the shit. So lucky, hold on, let me get that. Feel this in Isaiah. Feel their faces with feel their faces with cities. It's in Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah 14. I knew it was Isaiah 14. Okay. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers. And what's the what's the um what's the iniquities that their fathers have done? Slavery, so forth, alright? 
Um, they took down the Northern Kingdom first. All right, the Hispanic, the, the Aztec, the Mayan, the Inca, the Native and Seminole Indians, so uh, so forth. Then they took down the uh, Southern Kingdom. You so-called uh, uh, Negroes here in America, Jamaicans and Haitians. All right, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities so that's a prophecy that's about to happen after esau edom goes down it won't be no more uh so-called white people having their own cities and so forth every other nation on the earth will have mercy other than edom that's even in the zondervan bible dictionary all right so that's what's about to happen all right prepare slaughter for his children all right and ultimately uh you are your forefather so today what you see in the edomites they are their forefathers coming back all right uh now let's go into why uh so-called white people hate uh jacob so much well hate negroes latinos native americans so much all right it goes right goes right back to our forefather uh, Jacob, when Jacob and Esau were actually on the earth, it was a blessing, all right, that was uh, taken from Esau, all right, and ultimately, uh, it was done that way, because, let me get Romans 9, did I want to, let me get Romans 9 and 13, Romans 9, 13, all right, well, So like you phone going slow all right romans 9 13 as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated so the lord hates esau all right because ultimately esau hates the lord all right job 9 24 the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked uh he covered uh the faces of the judges so proof that esau hates the lord he covered uh how his son yahweh shall look he covered uh Yahweh, you know, uh they he's not he's not gonna tell you the actual name of the Heavenly Father, his son. And he and he ultimately put up false images, even of the prophets, all right. King David, uh um uh, Adam, you know, they he made the angels so called uh white people, Edomites and so forth. So that's why the Lord hates Esau. And ultimately Esau hates Jacob. Now let's go and get into it. I'm going to start from the very beginning of Genesis 27, all right? And I'll make it quick as possible, all right? 12 minutes. Salakia. So Trying to move, okay. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, he was blind, he was going blind, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So Esau was an albino. It's no such thing as black and white. The first came out red all over. His blood showed up through his skin, like how white people, you know, oh, that's why you call them. That's why we call them redneck. You know, their blood shows forth through their skin. That's proof who Esau is. All right, Adawam, red. All right, his eyes were dim, so that he could not see. He called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, I am. Uh, here I am and he said behold now I am old I know not the day of my death and it's a law that the firstborn well it's an ordinance all right that the uh, firstborn inherits uh, the father's uh, the first blessing all right now they therefore take I pray thee thy weapons thy quiver and thy bow and go out to the field and take me some venison, which is, uh, you can say, deer meat. All right. Now, it says, take, I pray thee, I take, take thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow. All right. So that's the sword. That's the, that's the example of the sword right there, that weapons. You know, it doesn't say sword. It says quiver and thy bow, you know, bow and arrow. All right, but ultimately during history, who made the uh, the assault rifle? Who made the the first gun? It was Esau. All right, so uh, basically that bow 
was made modernized. You know what I'm saying? He used he uh, transformed that bow into the uh, into the gun. You know what I'm saying? On later on in the future. So he he already had that um, that that knowledge that that hunter killer, you know that murderous type spirit. All right, and we're about to prove that more uh, in this scripture, well, in this chapter. Make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebecca heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, venison, and to bring it. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob, and the Lord hath this done. All right, her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy brother speak on. I mean, I'm sorry, thy brother. So like I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before the Yahweh before my death. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go, go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats. No spots, no blemish and so forth, just like the Passover, you know. And I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. All right. So Rebecca helped Jacob, all right, inherit that blessing. Ultimately, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, had this set up. And guess what? Yahweh Shai uh, was Isaac, all right, and King Solomon, and uh, Melchizedek, all right. And, be, and Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will fill me, and I shall see, seem to him a deceiver, and, shall not bring, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them all right and he went and fetched and brought them to his mother and his mother made savory meat such as his father loved all right and rebecca took goodly raiment of her elder son elder son esau which were which were with her in the house and put them upon jacob her younger son because she wanted jacob to feel like esau remember isaac was going blind his eyes were dim so he couldn't see you know, Jacob and Esau, he had to feel like some, my son is going to say in, in the verse. Well, in the script or well, chapter, you know, I was going to be like, you know, come to me, my son or whatever. And he's going to feel and be like, you know, it feel like Esau. I'm going to read it. I'm just going to keep reading. I'm, I'm going to close this out. She and she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread, which. She had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob, and and he came unto his father and said, "My father," he said, "Here I am. Who art thou, my son?" And Jacob said unto his father, because Jacob is now portraying Esau, "I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou bad baddest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat my venison, that thy soul." may bless me and isaac said unto his son how is it that thou hast found it so quickly <laughs> my son and he said because of yahweh thy power <laughs> brought it to me <laughs> oh shit and isaac said unto jacob come near i pray thee that i may feel thee my son whether thou be my very son esau or not and jacob went near to isaac his father and he felt him and said the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. <laughs> and he discerned him not because his hands were hairy and his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. All right. That's where you get uh, Jacob. His name means surplant. Yaqua means to surplant, means to get over, to hustle somebody. All right. And that's what our people do. That's a, a prime example and characteristic of how our people are. All right. Uh, and he said, are thou my very son Esau? He said, I am. And he said, bring it near to me and I will eat of my son's venison that that my soul 
may bless thee. And he brought it near to him and he did eat and he brought him wine and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, come now, come near now and kiss me, my son, you know, on the cheek. All right. Uh, and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him because he wanted to make sure it was Esau. But he was very sure. All right. And he believed that because remember, uh, Rebecca had I, uh, Jacob go and fetch Esau's raiment. All right. His clothing and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Yahweh have blessed. All right. And that's another example of how we know through the spirit who Esau Edom is today because they're the main people that don't stay at home. All right. That's in the book of uh, Obadiah. Uh, he shall cut off him that passeth out and him that returneth. Meaning, you know, Esau, he's in everybody's country, damn near everybody's uh, uh, backyard, you know, so to speak. He's hunting. You know, he, he's always hunting. You know, he, <laughs> he, he loved to be out in the field, you know. A prime example, you see them hunting shows. Esau's all on there. You know, you might have some Jake, but mainly Esau's on those hunting shows. All right. Fishing and so forth. All right. Therefore, the most high, I'm about to be done. Just, just bear with me. You know, it's very important. All right. Therefore, the most high gives thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the, of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be every one that curseth thee, and bless be he that blesseth thee. All right, and uh, that's where you get he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity also. You know, so all of um, the nations that had the Hebrew Israelites in captivity, they're about to go into captivity. All right, when the Lord come back, when Yahweh, uh, when Yahweh shall come back. All right. Uh, and it and it come and it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of the blessing, Jacob and Jacob blessing Jacob and Jacob was yet scarce gone out. I mean, uh, gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from hunting from his hunting, and he also had made savory meat and brought it unto his father and said unto his father, Let let my father arise and eat of his venison, that my soul may bless me. And Isaac, this is the prime, right on the head, beginning of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. This is where you're going to see how that hatred that the white people, so-called white people have for so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanic Indians is right here. And Isaac's father said unto him, who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who, where is he that had taken venison and brought it to me, brought it meat? And I have, okay, okay. Uh, and I have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. So it is, it's already late. It's too late. The blessing that Isaac gave to our forefather Jacob cannot be reversed. Why? Because like how the Lord said, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. So before they were even formed, uh, before they was even in the womb, before time existed, Yahweh had blessed, uh, have, have uh, loved Jacob. All right. It was already foreseen, foretold. All right. Uh, and, when, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great an exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father bless me even me also O my father and he said thy brother came with subtility and had taken away thy blessing and he said is not he rightly named jacob yaquab me to supplant or to get over to hustle all right for he has supplanted me these two times he take it away my birthright and behold now he had taken away my blessing so esau esau gave up his blessing all right esau came in uh from the field he was hungry esau didn't want to fast all right so esau was he just willingly gave away gave away his birthright to jacob jacob was like you know well uh, I, I, if you give me your birthright 
I'll give you your blessing. You know, so ultimately uh, Esau had despised the Lord. All right. <clears throat> now he had taken away my blessing and he said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac, and Isaac answered and said unto him, unto Esau behold I have made him thy lord thy ruler that's what the word lord means so Jacob is ruler over Esau I have made him thy lord and all his brethren have I given to him for servants and with corn and wine have I sustained him and he and what shall I do unto thee my son and Esau said unto his father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also of my Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So that's why these so-called white people, they drive the best cars. They got the best jobs. You know, um, they got the best living conditions. Why? They, that's, that's part of them having the fatness of the earth. All right. You know, I, one of our slain that a so-called Negroes use is, you know, oh, we live in fat, we live in large, you know, they, when Jake got money, that's one of the term, uh, that's one of the terms that they use. So the Lord proving that the Lord's a Jake too, you know, so-called Negro man, or, you know, he used, he, he <laughs> it's even in the scriptures that dwelling should be the fatness of the earth. You know, we live in fat, live in large, all right, of the dew of heaven from above and by thy sword thou shalt live. Now, do a little history. You know, who have conquered, raped, robbed, murdered, pillaged? The so-called white people, the so-called white race. All right, and they're still doing it. Look at Syria. Look at uh, Ukraine. All right, well, I don't want to say Ukraine, but because um, it's Edomites too. And Jake was over there before Esau. All right, but, but look at history. History tells you, all right? By thy sword thou shalt live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. All right, so that's what's going on today. All right, and Esau said in his heart and his mind, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then when I say my brother Jacob, so in the last days, all right, well, back then Esau sought out to uh, to kill Jacob and Rebecca heard it and she told Jacob to go to Laban, which was her brother, all right, and ultimately Jacob uh, uh, laid around with his mother's brother's daughters, all right, and that's legal because it's not blood, it's not uh closely related blood all right and that's 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 lawful all right so technically yes um you can mess with you know uh say your mother got a, a brother all right now if your mother's brother has daughters yes you could mess with them all right but in today's term, well, in today's society, how the white man got everything is if there's incest, it really is not. All right. Uh, so in the last days, Esau will seek to slay Jacob. And guess what? It's going to happen. All right. That's in the book of Ezekiel. All right. Uh, the judgment of Mount Seir or, or you know, Esau, thou, because thou hast not hated blood, uh, blood shall pursue thee. All right. So. That speaks for himself, all right? And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she went and called Jacob, her youngest son, and said to him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching as touching thee, do commit, uh, just like it, don't comfort himself pursuing to kill thee, all right? Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice, arise, flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran, which is the Syrians, all right? So, um, I mean, that's, that explains everything, how Esau hates Jacob, why he's just, you know, shoot and kill Jacob, you know, and Esau be like, I don't know why, you know, I just felt it in my, you know, I just felt it to, you know, to, to kill him. Well, it's a spiritual thing, man. All right. And ultimately, this is what happened.
was it? Uh, the Mount Seer. Uh, shit. Uh, Ezekiel. Uh, thirty. Was thirty four. Let's see. No, 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 no. It's, uh, damn. Salakia. Mount Seer. King James Version. I know it's in, it's in, it's easy. I listen to it all the time. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to be saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seer. Uh, son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir King James Version okay oh Ezekiel 35 I was just off by one <laughs> a lot of the scriptures I remember by uh by voice you know what I'm saying oh shit well you know what you can read it on your own you know it's Ezekiel 35 alright the whole chapter and also too Obadiah you know, uh, the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame Meaning the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom. All right. Esau is going to be stubble. All right. This is this is going to happen in the kingdom after they serve us, after they uh, serve slavery. All right. And. Uh, one more scripture, actually. Uh, and it's going to be in Hebrews. I believe it's the 10th chapter. Because Esau would try to say, you know, uh, they can they can repent or whatever. There's no repentance for Esau. Repent. I forgot to spell repentance. Damn. No repentance for Edom, King James Version. Oh, Hebrews. Damn, I'm off today. Hebrews 12. For ye know... For ye know how that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected. For he found no place for repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. All right, so he sought to kill Jacob. You know, he cried. But Esau won't stop. He had a, it's a continuous anger. The Edomites have a continuous anger. You know, uh, that's even here. Continuous No, ain anger. Esau has a continuous anger for Jacob. You know. Let me see if I can find him. Let's see. You know what? I think that's in the uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter as well. Uh, let's see. Esau. I spell Esau wrong. Wow. Let's go to Esau's friend. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. There you go. Perpetually. Salakia. Amos 1 and 11. Thus said the... Well, hold on. Yep, that's it. Amos 1 and 11. But uh, it's in Ezekiel 35 too, I believe. Thus said the Yahweh for three transgressions of Edom and, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear uh tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever all right so esau keeps his wrath forever for jacob all right that's why uh the lord's gonna do away with esau and the lord hates esau all right so uh, i believe i rambled on you know long enough i do hope that uh this is edifying all right and uh i'm going to say all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem kakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful let of the nation of israel 
Shalawan. Don't take the chip, which is a microchip, the mark of the beast. All right. And, and pray for faith uh, and more wisdom and, and more knowledge and understanding. All right. And repent. All right. Grow your beard out. You know, if you can, you know, uh, man, no, don't eat no abominable foods. You know, go over the dietary laws, you know, um, fast a little. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's baby steps, you know. Uh, work on repentance, all right? Shalom.